Welcome back to this Guild Wars Let's Play. You're Sambo and joining us as always is not only the most amazing healer in the entire Ascalon region, but of course also the average purple and brown Regina, oh. Jay Lissert. <laughs> how are average. you this evening, Reggie? Hello, Samba. How are you? I am anything but average. <laughs> I knew that would get the hairs on your neck standing up straight away. <laughs> of course, it is lovely to have you along yeah, well. for real. Oh, look at that. She's scaring me. Ah! Um, it is lovely to have you along. I'm just kidding. And by the way, one of the things you are good for, mm. one of the few things you're good for, of course, because <clears throat> I'm good for oh, I'm everything. I'm being set up here. No, you're not being set up. Look at what she's found, folks. We are up in this really cool space, which you may not recognize. In fact, we have a look at the map. Uh, you can see we're in Ascalon City here, but we're actually in a bit of a crazy place. Um, Reggie, where are we exactly? Um, this is the Ascalon City Beer Garden. Oh, the beer garden. Oh, no wonder you took me here. Because, of course, just like real life, you know where every beer garden is, every every city, every world, every virtual world. If there's a beer garden, Reggie will be there. How, did, how on earth did you uh, discover this? I, I didn't even know it was here. Um, well, I, I actually am quite good at um, hiding. <laughs> well, look, in, when I, in most major towns are outposts, I like to sort of explore even within the, the the town and i i usually find some little place where not many players know about or hang out and uh, yeah like you know this this, this is one of my hidey holes it's very and of course cool. now i've publicized it yeah i was just gonna say you know what that kind of defeats the purpose really <laughs> so there you go folks if you want to uh, if you want to find reggie come up to the beer garden um we actually well you're gonna have to lead us out of here because i'm gonna get totally lost because i i mean i can see ascalon city over in the background there but when you ran me here i must admit i wasn't paying too much attention so i have no clue where oh, we that are that ought to be right you never pay attention well, <laughs> whenever i'm helping you out with anything you never pay attention I, well, it's well okay, i'm gonna run us out and i'm actually gonna run us towards that I found a quest that a quest pickup in Ascalon City that we have done yet. Oh, so. God, that's good. Because, of course, folks, if you look at our mm. quest log here, you can see we're getting a bit thin on the ground. And I must admit, I was getting a little bit worried because a lot of these are... Um, wow, by the way, that looks amazing, doesn't it? I love this as we run past... The Great Northern Wall here. Um, yeah, you can see a lot of these quests here are actually my class quests. And there's only about one or two of them uh, that aren't, which means there's only a couple that Reggie and I can do. So just as well you found another one. That's good to know. And wow, I love the murals in here. Okay, I know where we are now. Yeah, that's that's cool. Okay, okay. I got yeah, it. Yeah, we're coming back down to the where um, War Master Titus was. Yeah, Titus. There he goes. Yeah, and the Guild Registrar. There. Ah, okay. All right, now it's all familiar territory. Good stuff. All right, so you found us another quest. All right, so I... Because you know what? I actually I wanted... Have. Well, I wandered around here um, during the week. I just had to hop on to sort out my storage because, of course, I'm such a pack mule. Um, and mm. I was having a look around and I here. I bet your bags are still half full, aren't they, Sambo? Yeah, they are still, actually. Look at this, folks. I've, I've emptied them out, and you can see that, look at that, the first and second bags are still pretty much full. Uh, but there's a reason for the second bags being full, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But, oh! I was just going to say, I didn't see any quests, but look at this, Captain Arn. All right, good spotting, Reggie. Okay, that's the second thing you're good for. We'll give you that. Fires in the east. Interesting, because we've done fires in the north. Of course, fires in the north being one of those famously difficult quests up in the DSA lowlands up there. I wonder if this is the same sort of thing. Here we go. Uh, our troops at the frontier gate report a concentration of char near the wall. Uh, they've spotted columns of smoke that suggest the flame keepers have set up an altar there. Oh, well, we know all about the flame keepers, don't we, from the uh, yes. last episode? We do, we do. Yeah, we ran into flame keepers last episode. Yeah, and that was <laughs> lots of fun, by the way. And thank you again, Alt, for joining us. Always good fun to have you along. Um, the flame keepers' altars serve as a source of power for the char. And we, you know what? We learned that as well. And must be destroyed if we wish to hold the wall since the king's army refuses to venture north of the wall i need a volunteer i choose reggie to lead a sortie northeast and destroy the flame keepers there you go and look at this we actually get a whole bunch of stuff out of this 500 xp i get a staff i get a long sword uh, yeah we'll definitely take care of that let's have a look at the map and see where it points us oh so it's sending us back out to the east reggie i, I mean 
I, I know we've kind of opened up a lot of it there. And look at that, she's going to travel us there. Great stuff to... So, oh, you'll leave party? Yeah, that's all right. We can join up again once we get there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, which oh, one are you late. going to? Serenity Temple or Frontier Gate? Oh, whoops. Well, I already, um, I already traveled. So I'm now in the Serenity Temple. Uh, now, oh, by the way, by the way. <laughs> I was about to say, if I travel us, we won't break party. Yeah, but See, you're going to get told off in the comments already for that. But I didn't travel. Was that me traveling? That was you traveling. I didn't. I honestly didn't think I clicked anything then. I thought that was you. Oh, thank you very much. That's weird. I will have to look back at the YouTube and see if I did in fact click. But look, just a quick snippet of um, lore here. One of our uh, viewers, I think it might have been Blaze Gun Shark, actually. He said that this place was the birthplace of Menlo. And, of course, we all know who Menlo is. He's the oh, famous okay. monk. So he, apparently he was born here, here. isn't he? Is he? Oh. oh, well, that would make sense if he is, oh, no, I guess. Oh, no, actually, I think, I, think he might, I think he might be out in the out and about in the... Um, oh, yeah, uh, no, you're right. He is out yeah, and about Pockmark because... Flats. Yeah, we came across him in the Pockmark Flats last time, didn't we? Uh, we were out there. We and, did. in fact, him and... I think Dwayne, um, Devona as well. And speaking of Dwayne, look at that. There's the avatar. Hello. Reggie doing a good old bow. Now, speaking of which, by the way, before we hook into this quest, speaking of Blaze Gunshark, mm -hmm. now I happened to uh, stop by and say good day to him during the week off camera. And a big shout out to him. Hello, hello. And he actually hello, gave, hello. gave us a couple of gifts. And I've got them here in my Aww. bags. Now, one of them's for you, obviously, and one of them's for me. Uh, now, the thing is... That's sweet. It is sweet. But mm. here's what I don't get. They appear to be very, very good gifts. And I don't get it. Because, look, I'm going to talk about WoW for a minute. I know you don't like me talking about WoW, but just bear with me for a moment. In World of I Warcraft... I don't like it because I don't understand it. Well, there's that. There's that. It's WoW <laughs> and Lord of the Rings <laughs> with you, isn't it? <laughs> Those two things. Um, the, the thing is, in WoW, the rarity has color schemes just like Guild Wars has color schemes. But the, uh, the thing is, in WoW, a green item is a common item. In other words, it's just a basically... A green item? Yeah, yeah. So it's a white Ooh. item, but with a stat. And it's basically the lowest end of stat items you can get. Now, I was looking at one of the things that Blaze Gun Shark gave me here. And it's, it's a, it's a two-handed staff, and it's called the Wing Shielder. And I'm looking at its stats, and I'll just quote one as an example. Let's just take the energy. Energy mm -hmm. plus 15. Now, if I have a look at the um, the gold one that I have, which in WoW, by the way, is legendary, so it's the top of the heap, this one is only energy plus 10. So I'm confused because the staff that Blaze Gun Shark has given me, the, the plain old green one, has a higher stat than the gold one. So what's going on there? Okay, Sambo. First of all, you have to t t take yourself out of World of Warcraft. No! Because no, mummy, mummy. You know mummy, what? I... Okay, I'll, I'll no. let you know. Hey, I'm le I'll, I'll let you in a little secret here, Sambo. Guild Wars and World of Warcraft are actually two different games. <laughs> They're not the same. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. Okay, well, okay, I've, I've actually not come across that much green. Actually, the only green I've come across has been um, um, gift, gifting, but the green I have been led to believe, it goes, it goes order of white, blue, purple, gold, green. So wait, green whoa, whoa, is whoa, whoa. higher than gold. Mm. Whoa, really? Yeah, and I believe that the green you only sort of get access to once you actually finish the Prophecies campaign. Oh, oh so my it's like, lord. It's like an end of game... Yeah, right, so it's the real Even end of better. game stuff. That makes sense yeah. because he actually said to me, here, I've got some very special gifts for you and Reggie. And he said, I actually used these on my characters and they served me well. And I thought, well, that's very nice of him. Thank you. And they're great looking stats. And that's interesting. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely take these. And obviously he didn't customize them. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to take mm -hmm. them. Um but I had no idea of the magnitude of the gift. So what you're saying is these is that these are basically the, the creme de la creme of items in the in Guild Wars. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. Oh, holy cow. Okay, well, in that case, folks, the first thing we're going to do is you can see here the uh, 
insightful holy branch of healing prayers that I have. Energy plus five, healing prayers plus one, and energy plus ten. I'm going to swap that out with the new one here, the Wing Shielder from Blaze Gun Shark. You can see energy plus 15, holy damage has gone up. It halves the skill uh, recharge of spells, halves the casting time of healing prayer spells, and gives me health plus 30. Oh my lord. I've now equipped wow. that. That is incredible. I know. But what I'm going to that do, is Reggie, awesome. is. Yeah, well, I'm going to trade you yours because, of course, the gift Ooh. that he gave me for Trust you. Mine? Yeah, it's a bow. Hey, mate. Eh? For me? Yeah, for you. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. for you. Um, this means nothing to me because I'm not a ranger, but I'd re be really keen to know if it's better than what you've got. So here we go. It's a um, Zel Zelnelun's longbow. And it's as you can see, it's green. Come on, submit, submit, submit. Oh, whoops. Here we go. Submit offer. There you go. Now, have a look at that. How, <gasps> how, what's that like compared to what you've got? Wow. It's good. Okay, what I've currently got is damage 12 to 21 yep. um, and requires 5 marksmanship. This is 15 to 28, oh. requires 9 marksmanship. I'm not at 9, but I'll stick, I can still use the bow and I just won't get that full 28 piercing right, damage. Right, right. Um, plus 15% damage, where this one's only plus 10%. Yep. Negative 10 on armor while attacking. That's a weird um, stat, isn't it? That's, that's a very bizarre interesting. stat. Yeah. Um, armor penetration plus 20%, but I'm liking this, plus 30 health. Yeah, that's amazing, isn't it? So good. That um, is. All right, so that's obviously going to be much more beneficial for you to use. And you know what? Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. There you go. So um, our big thanks to uh, Blaze Gun Shark, who, of course, you will have seen in the past couple of episodes, guesting at the beginning there. Uh, one of his characters is called Okin Olak from memory, and he's also the stealthy black ninja. He has just handed these down. You know what? We will not customize these, I think is a good idea, because then, of course, um, you know, they may live on in other characters as well. We may be able to hand them off to yeah. another player in the future or something like that. They could become legendary items. Mm. So um, I can't wait to see what they look like once we get outside of the outpost, because I bet you they uh, look really special as well, I'd imagine. Well, should but we go, should we head on out the gate and... Yeah, well, look, um, you know what, after all of that talking, we forgot about this new quest here, Fires in the East, and so, of course, we've got to go destroy the Flame Keepers. Let's have a look on our map, and you can see, yeah, it's actually pointing us out into the eastern frontier. Let's head out and get into it, get some questing done. This will be a lot of fun. Oh, I nearly, oh, I looked out. I was like, oh, I nearly forgot, we didn't get any mercs. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, hang on, before we go back I'm in, though, gonna... I'm just going to look at my, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, that is an amazing looking staff I've got. And look at your bow. Ooh. That is very, oh. very cool. Actually, they kind of match, don't they? All right, I'm... Uh, they do. I'm wrapped about that. That is unbelievable. Thank you very, very much once mm. again. Very, very grateful to you for gifting those. And like I said, we won't customize them just in case they can live on beyond us as well. And yes, we forgot our henchmen. Whoops. Okay, so what are we going to need? We don't have an alt with us today. So I'm guessing you're going to get a tank, I suppose, are you? I'm guessing. I am indeed. You're your good friend, Stefan. Hello, Stefan. Yeah, sorry about those earlier episodes. <clears throat> I've got a resurrect spell now. And look at that. We've got Orion the <laughs> mage as well. Ah, all right. Oh, I'm excited about this. Some fighting, some combat against these nasty char, the pockmark, pockmark flats. And you can see, oh, look at that. It's actually asking us to go north. Uh, in the pockmark flats, by the way, that's that's strange. Oh, look, we can we can test out our new powers on these elementals here. You first, though. <laughs> you go first. Well, actually, Stefan can bloody go first. Come to think of it. Oh wow, the range on this bow is incredible. Oh really? You're noticing the difference already? Mm -hmm. I am. I am. Fantastic. Oh, let's see how the healing goes oh, with of Stefan. This guy just come straight up and take me anyway, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, okay, my heels are definitely bigger. They are absolutely bigger. Whoa. Do you know what? Yeah. With this gear and with my awesome skills, we may actually survive this time. Maybe. Maybe. I know that'll be a change from the norm. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words there, Sam. Right? I know. Well, let me put it this way. We've got more of a chance of survival uh, now with these amazing stats on our, our weapons uh, because my heels are absolutely bigger. There's no doubt about it. Wow. This is great. 
You know what else? Uh, this is another. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. Um, there is one thing that I did want to ask you that you'll probably know. Now, as you guys is watching from home as well will know that when we get to various different outposts in the game with different merchants, different armor merchants, like for example the one in Escalon City, we were able to upgrade our core um, outfit, our gear. Now, Reggie, when when will be the next tier? Or like, what city or place do you remember? Uh, do we have to get to in order to get the next level of gear? Because I'm pretty sure that this stuff is I'm probably going to run out. I'm not sure. Well, it's yeah, gonna, I'm thinking this armor is going to get a bit. Um, it's going to get well, a bit too not, low, not isn't strong it? Strong enough. Yeah, because I definitely yeah, and I, remember. We need to go shopping. I need more pretty clothes. Go shopping. Listen to it. Any excuse. Um, I just remember in playing games uh, in the Nightfall campaign, especially and to a certain degree in factions as well, um, that it was pretty often that you'd come across a new uh, vendor, a new armor vendor, and you'd be upgrading your stuff at quite a quick clip, and yet that, you know, I haven't come across any more post Ascalon. so, well look, maybe, maybe there's a question for our wonderful viewers, there you go, a chance to get yourselves another 10 internet points. If you could let us know when the next outpost or major city is in terms of, uh, you know, our next tier of gear. And just in case you don't know what we've got, let's have a look at my inventory here. You can see it's the plus 5 energy armor 30. That's the tier of gear that I've got for all of these. They're all 30 armor. Now, I'm pretty sure from playing in Nightfall that the next tier of armor up is 45. But, of course, I could be wrong. So there you go, folks. There's your challenge for the episode. Let us know in the comment box below. Oh, and look, it's yeah, my favourite open now, world you know what, area. Sam, as, eh? as I'm playing here, I just, I've just i just noticed something. You know the um, one of the new spells that I got? Uh, it was a ranger spell called Dodge. And I was, um, oh, yes. Yeah, I was sort of quite excited thinking it sounded quite good. Yep. Um, I've noticed every time I cast it... It's supposed to be um, for seven seconds, so like a, a spell that sort of stays on for seven seconds. But every time I'm casting it at the moment, I'm then getting this sort of flash, and the spell will disappear off me. What on earth? Whoa! It's quite strange. Oh, is that? I don't know why. So, so the benefits of the spell are actually not hanging around. Um. Okay, that sounds extremely weird. Is there some kind of? What well, like? What does the actual description say? Like, is there some kind of condition that needs to be met? Uh, in order well, for it to work, or there we go. I've just cast it, and yep. it disappeared again. Um, it's it's called stand. For seven seconds, you move thirty three percent faster and have forty percent chance to block incoming projectiles. Dodge ends. Oh, dodge ends if you're at if you attack. Ah, oh. there you go. So that would be why. Right. Yeah, it helps if you read the entire description. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say so. <clears throat> oh, but that's an interesting mechanic. So that's no, so I'm wondering. Well, I'm wondering what the purpose of, or well, like the the gameplay design purpose of that is. I'm guessing that what it is, it's kind of like, and a lot of games have these, by the way. Um, it's a bit of a sort of get out of jail free um, skill with a high penalty. So in other words, um, and oh, here we go. I'm going to talk, give you a WoW example, but it's just because it's the only one I can do. In WoW, if you play a mage, and in fact you'll see it on my more recent Let's Play series with the Worgen Mage there, I have got an ability called Ice Block. Now it's similar in that it basically sets up your defenses. So if things are going really badly, you cast this thing, and it effectively stops all damage, kind of like mitigating the damage on your one. Um, but the catch is that you're frozen in a block of ice. So you know, you can't really do anything. You you have to make that choice to sort of stop all incoming damage, but the sacrifice is that you can't do anything and you can't move anywhere. Um, sounds like very similar type of thing. In other words, you can put that dodge up, which will obviously mitigate a lot of incoming damage for you, uh, but you need to sort of hold still. The You know, you can't see the one or the other. Either you're attacking or you're being defensive. That's how I read it anyway. Yeah, no, because I sort of read it and I went, it's like, okay, yeah, seven seconds, 40% chance to block incoming projectiles. Yep, that sounds good. But then I didn't actually read the last yeah. line. No, I'm the same with a lot of my <laughs> uh, skills. They have all these funny little, um, you know, sort of prerequisites at the end of it, and I'm terrible for not reading them all as well. By the way, speaking of terrible, we've come a long way, I think, because if we have a look on our map for this quest, look at that, the actual quest it's is... the other side of the frontier gate. Do you, yeah, <laughs> do you know what I reckon? I reckon we should go to Sirmia. 
I reckon it's going to be faster. Because, hey, the other exciting thing, though, and look at that, folks. You can see as we look at the asterisk on the map here, um, it's actually in, well, on my map anyway, it's in unexposed territory. So we're actually going to be exposing sort of a northern part of the eastern frontier. So I'm kind of excited about that, to be honest. You know how much I love yeah. discovering new areas. Well, it's actually, um, yeah, even though it said that it was in the eastern frontier, or was that the part it was highlighting, which is between Frontier Gate and Serenity Temple, if we had, yeah, it, it is the other side of Frontier Gate, not... Yeah. Not the side of Serenity Temple's on. Oh, well. It's all right. I'm still oh, opening up zones um, because on my map, where, actually, I don't know where you are. You must have run off ahead somewhere, maybe. But um, where I'm running now, I'm still opening and uncovering areas of the map as well. So, still all cool. Where are, by where the way, where are, are you? Where running at the moment? Yeah, where, where'd you go? I'm on the main path back to the Frontier Gate. Oh. I'm not sure where you've gone. I don't know where I've gone either. I think I've just taken the slightly long way. Hang on. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so, yep, yeah, I'm now heading, I think the I path kind of, of splits, gone. yeah, I've kind of taken the top path, but again, I'm happy about it because it's all uh, areas that I haven't seen before, so that's quite okay, although, I must admit, it's a bit scary because I've got mobs beating up on me and I don't have a big, strong Reggie to look after me. Um, all right, yeah, no, I, whatever. but now I can't actually see where you've gone, you're, no, I don't see you now. Well, you're I'm actually, coming... Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I'm the other direction. Oh, there you Here go. I am. Hello. My saviour. Hello. Hey. I think I saw where you went. You sort of went the top road and I went the yeah. bottom road. Yeah, so I, yeah. That'll yeah. be right. Not paying attention. Running off on your own. Yeah, well, I was actually I bet you always got told off from your mum that you're in the shopping centre as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been talking to my mother? Uh, no, I was actually looking at the map, um, trying to figure out where we were going, and then when I uh, when I closed it again, you'd gone. <laughs> so, you're, <laughs> so you're the sort of mother that would leave their child in a shopping centre. Do you want to use that analogy? <clears throat> well, maybe you just leave me there. Not too often. <laughs> Not too often. And she says, ah, it's okay, when I come back, they're normally still there. <clears throat> anyway... Uh, all right, so what, what is are it? we? I was dis watching an episode of the Guild, and um, and I don't know if you watched. The I Guild. do. You're going to um, talk about Carla? I love that show. Yeah, Ka Clara. She she was Clara, there lining up to um get the expansion, the new expansion pack, and she had she she came late, and she's like, oh, it took me forever to find a store with a kids' toy department, and then she had the baby monitor and she was talking into it. Oh. <laughs> 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 She's yes, a shocking, one -way shocking baby mother. <laughs> oh, and, I love her. She is yeah, she's fantastic. A, she's a classic. In fact, folks, let us know mm. in the comments if you watch the Guild as well, because uh, seriously, if you don't and you're into MMOs and gaming, and of course it stars Felicia oh, Day. You have to watch the Guild. You have to. And you, in fact, you have to watch it from the very beginning episodes. Uh, I still remember those episodes, the very first ones that got me hooked on the on the series with Zabu. Um, he's such a classic character. So, uh, yeah, highly recommend yeah. that series. Highly recommend it. Right, where are we? Let's have a look on the and old I map. Admit, I, I can relate to it a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> oh, definitely. Well, the great thing about it is they've taken all of the sort of steadfasts and uh, all the stereotypical things about MMOs and MM MMO players and made it uh, hilariously funny. And, of course, you know what's the, f the funniest thing about it is half of them are blimmin' true as well. Um, seriously, you laugh at them, and then you think to yourself, hang on, I actually <laughs> know someone real, like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, yes, I could never personally relate to them, though. I, I never see any aspect of my own <laughs> gameplay or personality in them. <coughs> oh, sorry, Reggie. <laughs> I just <coughs> had something in my throat there. <clears> throat> uh, anyway, look at that, folks. We come over the, the cusp of this hill, and it's Taking a beautiful blood-red sky and the n Great Northern Wall there. How fantastic is this? Oh, and it's a bloody dead end. What the heck? What's going on? Mind you, they stuck a boss up here. That's okay. All right, so where are we headed? Are we actually going to be able to get through to the north there, th um, through the gate? Like, is there a gap in the gate? It looks like there is, that road. I think road. so. Okay, I think I hope I'm so. going the right way. All right, that's yeah. good. Well, we should make it in time. Never got about... me with a map, though. No. <laughs> I, you know what's funny? My map skills have just deteriorated over time. Ever since I got an iPhone, and of course I just totally rely 
on Google Maps, it's really bad because you get out of the habit of actually, um, you know, figuring out where you are on your own steam. It's terrible. And now I'm really well, lost without it. It's like when we got our GPS. I just plug where I'm going into the GPS and I never pick up a, a, a map of Norway or anything like that. And yeah. I'm just like... Yep, wouldn't have a clue where I'm going. I know. It's it's like um, your sense of direction basically boils down to, you know, turn left in 200 metres. And it's like, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be a lost oh, art map GPS reading. actually has the voice of Gladys. Oh, you've told me that before. That is that is mm. so classic. That's just <laughs> such a geeky, cool thing, I must admit. How did you get that, And when by you the get way? to the destination... Um, I can't remember, actually. Really? There is certain packs that you can buy for the GPS that we've got. There is certain packs you can buy for the different voices in them. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Um, of all the voices yeah, to have. tell me that when I'm at the destination to stay in the car and my cake will be delivered shortly. You're joking. No. If you've reached your destination, please remain in your vehicle and your cake will be delivered shortly. I'm... Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what? I just want to buy a GPS... Um, and just strap it to myself. You need to have a car, Sam. Yeah, but that's what, I, what I'm saying. I'll just strap it to myself because, hey, it would still work um, just so I can reach my destination and, and get cake. That is the coolest thing I've ever heard ever <laughs> in the history of ever. Um, I mean, hello. That is so amazing. <laughs> she is a little bit mean, though, because if you're on a, if you're on a freeway, it'll actually say... Um, you know, you've missed your destination. You've missed your turn off. If you hadn't been listening to me, you, you know, you would have known about it. But then it goes, ha ha, that was a joke. Your, your turn off is coming up. Oh, that is so cool. That is the, oh, that, honestly. Um, you, what make is it? Just in case any of our viewers are interested. It's a Tom Tom. Oh, it's Tom Tom. So that's the real deal. Wow. Mm, actually, and bless you there. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know what? Um, you can actually get the TomTom Tom app for iPhone. I wonder if the TomTom Tom app Ooh. actually has the uh, voice sounds on it as well. You know, what? that's something I'm going to have to investigate. Well, there's your homework, Sambo. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm absolutely going to check that out. Although I can't. I'll have to do the investigating. I don't particularly want to buy it because, you know what? It's amazing. Uh, any of those uh, out there of you who are used to having an iPhone, We'll know that the standard prices for things is you know around about the dollar mark, um, and at max sort of two ninety nine, three ninety nine for a really good app. Can you imagine what it's like amongst all of that when you look at the TomTom Tom app and it's eighty nine dollars ninety five cents? So, oh my God, it's so expensive. Ow. Yeah, I know. So expensive compared to all the other apps. All right, look at this. We've got some char here, or some grawl. I wonder if this is going to be the start it's of grawl. yeah. I wonder if our mobs that we need for the quest are going to start turning up, I wonder. Well, let's hope so. Ouch! Getting knocked That's down big time. That's all we need for our mobs to generate. Yeah. Oh my lord! They're coming thick and fast! Look, where are they all coming from? Oh, there's a healer. Oh, is that what you got targeted? Yeah. Sorry, my bad, my bad. I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't doing the targeting thing. Oh, and I've run out of energy. Uh oh. Oh, of course you've run out of energy. I'm gonna die. Right, I'll get a submission or two to help us. Yeah, I'm dead. They just beat up Heal on me. Heal thyself, healer. Yay. That wasn't me. Oh, okay. Thank you to the henchmen. Oh, they've come on me again. Right, I'm running away from here because they just. That is not going to stop beating up on me. Oh lordy, lordy, we've lost, lost our mage. I'll go resin. That's too far away. Yeah, come on. How Please many? Take the hired help, could you? How many blimmin' grawl are there? This is ridiculous. And there's more that have just come around the corner. Okay, this is insane. Can someone tell Orin to, like, fire... Oh, he just did. Yeah. But <laughs> they tell Orin to firebomb them. Yeah, come on, Orin. <sighs> oh, my God! What is going on? This doesn't seem right. Oh. There's masses of them. Oh, I've got no energy again. Oh, and I'm stuck in mobs. I can't move. Ah! Oh, no, don't die. Run! Oh, 
just managed to get a heal off there. Oh, well done. Wow, this is actually taking concentration. <laughs> Amazing. I know. There's another Utalite that I've just targeted. Oh, healing himself. Oh, but this okay. is awful. Got rid of him. Oh, there's another one up there. There's two more up there. Oh, there's a third one just come. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, how many healers? What? I don't get it. This is ridiculous. I know. It is. You keep targeting the healers. Yep, I'm getting out of there again. I've to topped you up, so you should be okay for a little bit. Okay, yep, three healers I can see, and one, two, three, four, five left. Five actual mobs left. This is just crazy. Well, I'm attempting to, oh, attempting to get the healers first. I'm, and unfortunately, I need to save my energy for heals. Can you target one anyway, just in case I do have enough energy left? Um, I think all the healers are gone now. Oh, well done, Reggie. So I'm just targeting our normal girl. I know. Reggie saves the day once again. Pretty much. I hate to yeah, admit it, but yeah, you did. The way these are now dropping, there's no healers left. Yeah. Wow, folks. Did you check that out? That was an insane fight. And you know what? All credit where credit is due. Look at that. Good on you, Reggie. You absolutely won us that fight. That was fantastic skill on your behalf, must Thanks, say. That's Dan, the only... bro, I'm more than happy to take the credit for that. Yeah, well, <laughs> so you should. That was absolutely amazing. What blows my mind is if we have a look on the map, we're not even at our objective yet. That was just a wandering band of Grawl. I mean, what the heck? Yeah. That's crazy. So what's your your morale must be really down. It's uh, minus thirteen percent, unfortunately. So this is not going to go well. Oh. And we'll look at that. We're well over time as well. So, oh dear, oh dear. It's all going downhill for us. Of course. I just can't believe that that's that they'd spawn that many mobs. It just seems ridiculous. You know, I think one time we'll have to actually film an episode and make sure it's like 29 and a half minutes. I know. <laughs> that, it'll never that. happen. We're, we're so bad. No. Oh, you know what? I think I've found them. Is this is this them? No, they're still north. Okay. Because there's a band of them over there, it's, but that's obviously not them. Yeah, well, the map is actually showing that this is... Oh, because I mean, it's, awesome it's the Flame like Keepers. Flaming effigies. Here we go. Yeah, Flame Keepers. Here we go. Oh, yikes! These guys can hit like a brick, you know what, as well. <laughs> oh, my lord. Get off me, you horrible beast. Ah, here we go. There's a healer over there. Alright. Wow, nicely done. Okay. Taken out by Reggie. You're, you're on fire this episode. It's amazing. Speaking of which, on fire. Ah, oh, but how awesome does fire. it look? That looks amazing. I know. Oh my lord. I just got to get a screenshot. That is so Control awesome. H. Yep, that's right. Of course, our get rid of the UI there. little trick. All right, it is all on now, folks. Look at this. Action stations. Whoa, Stefan's taking a pop. We're not going to survive this. There is no way we're going to survive this. Okay, there's the shaman. Alright. I've unfortunately got to... Get him. Got to, I've got to save all my yep, energy for healing. Oh. Back a bit there. oh, we lost Stefan. We've also lost the shaman. He's gone. Oh, I'm dead. I was Can't trying to res. Oh. oh, no, this is bad. Let's click on Reggie, of course, to see the world through her eyes. Spectate. I mean, look, it's an amazing looking area. This is just fantastic. Oh, I got rezzed. I'm just going to get the heck out of here. Amazing looking area, uh, but boy, is it rough. Yep, incoming heals. 
Beautiful. Of course, my my morale is down to minus 28%, so I'm just going to run out of energy. I've got so many dots on me, it's not funny. And yeah, had no chance there. I'm sorry. Uh, Unless well, you can res okay, me. Okay, that's all right. I can't, well, I was the one who res you before. Ah. Uh, Go, Reggie, let's click on my, it and see what it's like see through if I can her do eyes. My, my, my fast heal. Oh, look at this, her health is getting torn away. Look at this. The odds are just against her. You're doing so well, but look at this. You've got one, two, three, four, five, I'm six, trying. seven. Oh, there I go. Yeah, look at that. Eight. Eight. Good lord, that was just unbelievable. This we is got a rid of really a few of them. This is a really rough mission though, isn't it? It's almost as bad as the one that was the other namesake, of course, which is um well, what's, what was it called? Um, the Fires in the North. Oh, no, look where we've come back. Yeah, look, you know what? We're way over time. I think what we'll do here is um, end the episode right here, and perhaps what we should do, Reggie, is just map travel through to the Frontier Gate next time, I think, and we'll be a lot closer. And, I mean, there's no point because... Okay. We're still, well, we've still got to um, fight all of those mobs. Um, they're all still going to be there, so I don't think it really matters if we reset the area, to be honest. We could just treat treat this particular episode as a nice gain of XP. That's what we'll decide that one is. So there you go, folks. That's what we'll do in the next episode. We'll go to the Frontier Gate, and then we'll head on up into the north of the Eastern Frontier. See if we can actually take out the amazingly high numbers of mobs that are around there. That's... That, geez, the odds really seem stacked against us, you know. It could be uh, make for a really exciting episode to see if we can actually make our way through there. But uh, in the meantime, folks, that'll be it for us. We're very sorry that we've gone over time, as always. Oh, dear. One of these days we'll actually, like you say, make an episode that's actually less than 30 minutes. Yeah, like that's ever going to happen. Anyway, that's yeah. it for us, folks. It's time to go. Certainly hope you'll join us in the next episode. And, of course, on behalf of myself, Sambo, and, and look at that, and Hello Kitty, and our two henchmen, and, of course, the wonderful Regina J. Lacerda. It's us saying take care. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. We'll see you next time, and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.